Hey guys, welcome back to another Fly Tying Friday. Tonight I'm going to be tying a black stone fly and we're starting on a curve shank nymph hook um, from Allen. It's a size 8 with a 2.8 millimeter bead and a few wraps of 0 0.015 lead wire. Some of the biggest stone flies you see um, usually solid black but they can vary have a little bit of brown in them too but this one we're going to tie is going to be solid black I'm starting off with some black 6 out thread I'm going to work a little ways down the bend of the hook and create just a little thread ball there and then I'm going to select two black goose bites for the tail I'm going to reverse one of these bites so the curves face away from each other and they splay out naturally we can go ahead and measure up the tail and once I have it where I want just switch hands and just use a pinch wrap to secure those down right behind that thread ball and that thread ball is going to help them splay out as well and then just wrap down the tag ends there and now I'm going to tie in some black larva lace if you haven't used this stuff it's like a, a stretch tubing basically and a little trick to tie this in is to heat this up on the end wet your fingers and then smash it and pull it and see how it just like flattens that out we're gonna just trim the very tip off we're gonna tie that in the back and it's gonna help us uh, reduce bulk at the tie in point and kinda start it flat so we'll just tie that in there and I'm gonna use a little bit of a uh, super fine dry fly dubbing to create a tapered body in the back you don't need a lot here but we just need to build a taper up to the lead wire and I'm not going to apply any dubbing back here over a tie-in point we want that to be the thinnest part and then just taper up to the lead wire here Alright, now I'm just going to wrap this uh, larva lace up to the lead wire, and once I start wrapping you'll see that uh, since we flatten this out, it'll lay nice and flat and then just work a nice taper up, a segmented body up to the lead wire. And you want to pull pretty tight on this as you wrap. Okay, now I'm going to tie in some thin skin and I cut this uh, pretty narrow and I don't know it's just about as wide as the body up here and we'll tie that in as our wing case and it's right on top of the hook okay and now for the dubbing I'm going to be using a black UV ice dub And you don't need a lot of this, but we're going to do a little dubbing noodle here at first uh, before we tie any legs in. And we're going to tie in two goose bites for legs. And we want to tie these in so the goose bites naturally curve out. So we're going to flip them the way they need to be oriented and just measure up the length and tie them in on each side. Now we're going to wrap that 
thin skin over the top and just do a couple wraps right in front of the legs as the first wing case and then flip that thin skin straight back again. And we're going to repeat that process so we have three sets of legs. Putting a dubbing ball on first at each uh, segment so the dubbing helps split out the legs. Alrighty, um, now all we got to do is uh, whip finish there and that pretty much does it. And just as a um, final step, I just trim out any stray fibers and I go underneath of it with the uh, Velcro, just kind of brush out the underside. And then just kind of sweep all those uh, fibers back and give it a little trim underneath. Alright guys, well that pretty much does it for the uh, giant black stone fly and hope you guys enjoyed. Um, it's a really heavy fly, so you can use it as a uh, point fly in your dropper rig or anything like that that you need to get down deep and use a big bug when they're looking for big stones. So, hope you guys enjoyed and I hope it uh, helps you out. We'll see you next week on another Fly Time Friday. Thanks for watching.